Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from the Nutrition and Health channel. Today we are going to talk about the foods that are richest in protein, an essential nutrient for the functioning of our body, especially for the formation and maintenance of muscles, tissues and organs. Proteins are made up of amino acids, which are like the building blocks of our cells. There are 20 different amino acids, of which 9 are considered essential, that is, which our body cannot produce and which we must obtain through food. Foods that contain all essential amino acids are called complete or high biological value proteins. These foods are mainly of animal origin, such as meat, fish, eggs, milk and derivatives. However, there are also foods of vegetable origin that contain proteins, such as legumes, beans, chickpeas, lentils, soybeans, dried fruits, peanuts, walnuts, almonds, chestnuts, and pseudocereals, quinoa, buckwheat. These foods are called incomplete proteins or of low biological value, as they do not have all the essential amino acids or have them in insufficient amounts. But that doesn't mean that vegetarian or vegan people can't get quality protein in their diet. Simply combine different plant protein sources throughout the day to ensure adequate intake of all essential amino acids. But after all, what are the richest protein foods? Let's see a list of 25 examples. It has proteins of high biological value inside. It is also capable of providing a significant amount of fatty acids from the omega-3 series. Chicken is one of the most consumed and versatile meats in the kitchen. It is rich in lean proteins, that is, low in saturated fat. Egg is considered one of the most complete foods that exist. It contains high-quality protein in its white and also provides healthy fats and vitamins in its yolk. Cheese is a derivative of milk that concentrates a large amount of protein and calcium. However, it also contains fat and salt, so it should be consumed in moderation. Yogurt is another milk derivative that contains proteins and calcium. Additionally, some yogurts contain probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria for gut health. Tuna it is a blue fish that stands out for its high protein and omega-3 content. It is a good option to include in the diet, especially if it is fresh or canned naturally. It also provides minerals like iodine and phosphorus. Fish in general, they are an excellent source of high biological value proteins and also provide essential fatty acids for cardiovascular health. It is recommended to consume fish at least twice a week. Red meat. It is rich in proteins of high biological value and also in iron, zinc and vitamin B12. However, it should be consumed in moderation as it also contains saturated fat and cholesterol. Milk. It is the food that contains the most complete protein that exists, casein. It also provides calcium, phosphorus and B vitamins. Soy is the legume that comes closest to being a complete protein, as it contains all the essential amino acids in reasonable amounts. In addition, it is rich in fiber, isoflavins and minerals. Quinoa is a pseudo-cereal that stands out for its high protein content and nutritional quality. It contains all the essential amino acids and is also rich in fiber, magnesium and iron. Buckwheat is another pseudo-cereal that contains good quality proteins and also provides fiber, antioxidants and minerals such as manganese and copper. Millet seeds. These are small seeds that contain protein and are also a good source of complex carbohydrates, fiber and minerals such as magnesium and phosphorus. Lentils. These are legumes that contain protein and also provide fiber, iron, folic acid and other nutrients. They are very versatile in the kitchen and can be used in soups, salads or stews. Tofu is a soy derivative obtained by curdling its milk. It is rich in protein and also in calcium, phosphorus and isoflavins. Beans is one of the most consumed legumes in Brazil and Portugal. It contains protein and also provides fiber, iron, potassium and folic acid. P is another legume that contains protein and also provides fiber, vitamin C, vitamin K, and manganese. Rice is a cereal that contains proteins of low biological value, but that can be combined with legumes to obtain a complete protein. It also provides complex carbohydrates, B vitamins and minerals such as selenium. Flax seeds are seeds that contain protein and are also rich in omega-3 fatty acids, 
soluble fiber and lignans, which are compounds with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Sesame seeds. These are seeds that contain protein and also provide calcium, iron, magnesium and phytosterols, which can help lower cholesterol. Chickpea is a legume that contains protein and also provides fiber, iron, folic acid and tryptophan, an amino acid precursor of serotonin. Peanut is a dry fruit that contains proteins and also provides unsaturated fats, vitamin E, niacin and resveratrol, an antioxidant with benefits for cardiovascular health. Nuts are nuts that contain protein and also provide unsaturated fats, especially omega-3, fiber, magnesium and phytochemicals with anti-inflammatory properties. Almonds are nuts that contain protein and also provide unsaturated fats, vitamin E, calcium, magnesium and flavonoids with antioxidant properties. As you can see, there are many protein-rich foods that we can include in our daily diet. The important thing is to vary the protein sources and combine animal and vegetable foods to obtain all the essential amino acids that our body needs. The amount of protein we should consume depends on several factors, such as age, weight, physical activity and health status. In general, an intake of 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day is recommended. However, this amount may be higher for people who practice intense exercise or who want to gain muscle mass. To find out what your protein needs are, consult a nutritionist who can make an individual assessment and create a meal plan suited to your goals. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned more about the highest protein foods. If you liked it, leave your like comment and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive notifications for upcoming videos. I see you next time.